In today's wrap-up, according to the PM, the government has injected $300 million into the economy. Lydian International has responded to the termination of the EBRD's investment in Amulsar. The Environment Minister states that the clean-up of the shores of Lake Sevan has begun. A state prosecutor has demanded long sentences for the members of the Sasna Tsrer party. And the government is to provide a stimulus package for Armenia's tourism sector. In a meeting of ministers, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan stated that since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, the government has injected the economy with just under $300 million. This is roughly 2.5% of Armenia's GDP. Pashinyan stated that this was done to mitigate the negative economic consequences of the pandemic. The sectors which received assistance included the agricultural, tourism, business and manufacturing sectors. Much of the funds were borrowed from banks but with good loan terms, according to the PM. This comes as Armenia is expected to enter into a recession due to the effects of the pandemic. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development announced it would suspend its investments into Armenia's controversial Amulsar gold mine project, which is owned by Lydian International, an Anglo-Canadian consortium. News that the EBRD's investment is due to end comes as protests have been renewed at the Amulsar site in recent weeks, after the Lydian group hired a new private security firm and removed a trailer belonging to activists. Lydian responded to the news stating that the project will continue regardless, and blamed the Armenian government for producing a state of domestic lawlessness. The company also added that it has all the relevant legal permits to continue with the project. After the 2018 Armenian Revolution, protesters set up blockades around the mine, citing environmental concerns the mine's operation would cause. The government in Yerevan too has been unclear as to whether it will allow the mine to operate or not. The Environment Ministry's plan to clear the shoreline of Lake Sevan of structures constructed illegally has begun. Last week, the new Environment Minister, Romanos Petrosian, stated that plans to do so will go ahead under his tenure. On August 13th, spokesperson of the Environment Ministry, David Krikorian, posted videos on Facebook of a pavilion cafe which was constructed illegally being demolished. Petrosian added that any state-owned structures will be dismantled by the state, whilst privately owned structures will have their demolition funded by their owners. A state prosecutor presiding over the case regarding members of the Sasana Tsere party has demanded long sentences for the defendants. Though the decision is not final, the proposed sentences range from eight years to life, with one Sambat Barserian facing life behind bars. The case relates to a hostage crisis that took place in 2016, when members of the nationalistic but anti-old regime party Sasna Tsre took over a police station in the Erebuni district of Yerevan, claiming that they had started a revolt against the regime. During the standoff, three policemen were killed. Fourteen days after the hostage crisis began, the members of the group gave up the police station after law enforcement bodies threatened to storm the building. As part of a new stimulus package, the Armenian government will provide a hefty sum to the country's tourism sector, which has been reeling under the effects of the pandemic. Businesses that have at least 50% of their operation related to travel, booking, catering and accommodation will thus receive monthly grants. With the start of many budget airline flights to Armenia in 2020, many were expecting a tourism boom to occur in the country. Instead, passenger traffic has plummeted, with companies involved in tourism still reeling from the consequences of the pandemic. Despite this, the emergency state regulation disallowing foreign nationals from entering the country has been lifted.